All right, welcome to uh, me discussing how to use the Make My Cards plugin for Python. Um, I wrote this up uh, here just kind of in a text editor. You're welcome to change or modify this in any way that you would like. So if, if you want to get familiar with how uh, GIMP uses Python to help with the image editing, uh, this was a fun little exercise for me. So you'll find the, the code uh, on my website at playeveryroll.com where you can download this along with the readme file and uh, some example stuff. So this plugin you're going to download as a, a .py, .python, and then it's going to get saved in your C drive. Okay, you're going to go to users and your name, and then app data. Now this is a hidden folder, so you have to make sure you show hidden folders. Go to roaming, and then GIMP, because I'm using GIMP. 2.10 uh, is the program I'm using uh, as an image editor and then this goes in plugins right here so you just drop it in here and there's the plugin I'm working with right now okay so again I'm using as my image ed editor uh, GIMP this is 2.10.20 I believe if you don't have GIMP you can go to oh, here's screen recorder this is who I'm using right now to record for free uh, GIMP is a free image editing program you can download 2.10 Point twenty right here at GIMP.org. So what, before you use the plugin uh, to create some cards, that's the main point of this plugin is to help you create large decks of cards for games or whatever you're doing. Okay, uh, you, before you actually use the plugin, you probably want to set up your templates. So this video is going to be about setting up the template and what you need to do before you can use the plugin. So uh, the first thing that that you'll need to do is set up your basic template, and you want your to make sure that your layers that you're using, any layer that's going to have changes or anything like that, you want to make sure it's uniquely named. So one thing that might change right here, the, the, I've got a layer group called star icons, and then this is just icon one, two, and three. Okay, and that's these three kind of star things right over there. Turn off that artwork, you can see those three. Um, and so one, two, three, right, I can make them disappear or reappear. So I might need those in any combination. In, in some random game, you might have somebody who's like a a one-star general, or a, a two-star general, or a three-star general, or whatever it is, or maybe they, you know, they have a blue specialty, and then the next person has a blue and red specialty, right? So uh, if you got to mix and match those, that's nice to put in a layer group. But again, those should be uniquely named. Okay, any text field that you're going to have. So I've got a header text, but notice it says card title right here. Most of the text fields, when you put in a text field. Uh, if I type in a text field right here and say this is text, right, um, then it names that layer this is text over here, and we don't want that. We want it to have a unique layer name, so I'm going to double click that and, and call this the new text field. And now, after I rename that, and I come over here and I, I put, you know, more text, notice it did not change the name because now it has a unique name for that layer, right? Of course, I don't need that layer, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that layer. Um, also, you'll notice that over here you want to have, uh, I, I've got everything in pixels, not in points, for the plugin. And then you want to make sure that all these settings, whatever this is set with over here, that's what it's going to do. So if we want, for this card title, if we plug in a card title of, you know, uh, Alien Guy for my space game here, okay, and that's the card title, it's going to take the 70 pixel font here, it's going to be this color. The, you know, anti-aliasing, the media, everything here, the kerning and adjustments right here, uh, it's all going to stay the same. The big thing is you want this to be fixed, not dynamic. If you have it on dynamic, um, it, it's going to have an issue when it plugs things in that it'll move around. Fixed means it's going to stay in place. It's always going to have this as your left edge, and this is your right edge. This is going to be left justified, right? If I set it at, at center justified, then everything I plug in will be center justified. So you want to make sure that your settings over here are set up for whatever you want, if you make changes right here, so if I change this to font size um, 50 or 44 right here, if I change it here, it did not change in the main thing. So when I run the plugin, it's going to turn it back into 70 pixel font instead of this 44. So any changes that you want to make, or as you set up your template, remember it's this number over here that's the most important. Okay, uh, so I'll just change that back to 70 in there. Okay, so I've got all my, my text set up. They've got unique names as their layers. 
Um, I've got uh, the cost is going to be up here, like, I don't know, like a mana cost or something, and a strength down here, and maybe that's how many points of damage that that, that space thing does. Uh, I've got the border, and maybe there are pieces of the border even that I'm going to uh, hide or, or use in different ways. So there are these extensions that came with this. This was a free download on um, uh, drive through RPG as a template that you could get. Um, and so this, you know, maybe I want to turn on or off those things in different combinations. So they have unique names, extension 01, extension 02. Um, and then some of these things will, I, we won't even have to worry about. Like this background in the back, that's probably always going to stay on, okay? Um, for artwork, we want some center artwork in here, right? Every card's going to have its unique picture. Well, I don't need to load every single picture in. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put one picture or one layer in here. I'm going to call it placeholder. You can call it whatever you want as long as it's unique. Um, and that what this is, is right there at that, that circle. I drew that circle in the center of this layer. And when we call our program, or our plugin up uh, for, for making the cards, what it's going to do is it's going to open up new uh, layers and it's going to center it right here at the center of this layer. So this placeholder layer, its center will be the center of all the images that I open up and put into this card. So make sure this thing is placed right and that your images that you're going to be using are done um, ahead of time. So, for example, I'm, I might be using, oh, I've already got my back created here, but um, I might be using, you know, these different images to plug in. So what I've done is I've, I've resized these to get them, you know, basically at the right size. And it'll calculate, the, the plug-in will calculate the center of this thing and then put that at the center of this placeholder. And then, of course, uh, turn off the placeholder so it doesn't show up in the actual card. Okay. Uh, let me check my notes to make sure we're, we're not uh, missing anything. Oh, you could, if you wanted to, you could take all of these pictures uh, right here, and you could put them in as layers if you want, but I think it's easier just to open them as layers. That way your GIMP um, program doesn't, or your, your file doesn't get so huge. Right now it's only 46 megs. If you start putting in picture, 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 like I did a 200-card deck, if you put in 200 pictures, this thing would be huge. You'd be talking gigs, right? So it's just easier to open them one at a time, and then my plugin will then delete it after it puts it in and saves it as a, as a picture. It'll then delete it and take it out. So you're not using up all your memory. Uh, checking my notes, there was one other thing I wanted to tell you about the text boxes, and that was when you're on a text box, um, you won't be able to bold or italicize something. So if you wanted this word, this is where you put the card text. If I want where to be italicized, you know, I can italicize that or bold that in here. But remember, any of this stuff doesn't go through. So um, what I had to do as a workaround of that is I found a website that would take anything I wanted. So if I wanted, like, um, temp for temperature to be bolded, then this will take anything you type in and turn it into Unicode. But it will only do kind of this um, serif or sans serif kind of generic. So those generic kind of things will not necessarily match the font choice that I've got here. So if you want to use Unicode font, um, then you're going to have to pick your regular fonts as like Times New Roman or um, Arial, something that'll basically match, right? Can't be kind of this goofy space junk thing that I've got here. Uh, and it's in points here, so I'm going to switch it to pixels. There we go. Uh, so the that's this, um, the, the text fields. And we talked about the images, so I, it looks like we've got everything set up here in our file for, as far as our template goes. So once your template is set up and ready in um, GIMP, then we can move on to setting up all the data for every individual card. And that will be based off of these unique layer names over here. So again, make sure these are unique layer names that you're going to point to. And we'll set up our, um, we'll set up our Excel file here. Um, in the next video. We'll talk about that. Okay?